Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by, I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel. So today I thought I would use this. So it's the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions, it really is a beautiful palette and originally I pulled it out for St Patrick's Day but then I got the Colourpop Just My Look so I used that because that was newer um, but I've not used this in a very very long time. I got it for Christmas I want to say two years ago and I used it initially at Christmas to do a few looks and ever since then I've not used it. Today I've got a I really really want to use these two, that's like a duo chrome and then that's a really nice topper and maybe this mint green in the crease or transition and then this darker one, I don't know, it could all like be different as I'm doing it but yeah I really want to do a really nice look with this today, um, hence the green top. So we're going to go in, um, this is day three, look three, so originally when I did these looks um, this week I filmed a day one look one with the Morphe 35i Icy Fantasy palette and it was a really gorgeous peachy orange eye look and on that day I filmed two looks I got um, like a little haul from pastelrose.com so I filmed that um, that's actually gone up on the channel and you will be able to see it soon um, and I filmed the Morphe 35i Icy Fantasy look as well and I was so tired and exhausted. I haven't actually been filming two videos at once so I completely forgot about it and deleted all the footage so I need to refilm that at some point but for now we're just gonna go in with this beautiful palette here and see what look we can create. Hopefully it won't be too crazy. Sorry about that, my sister keeps messaging me and this always happens when I sit down to film. I always get people message me, we're not exactly central, um, but yeah, so people always message me when I'm just about to film, which can be a little bit irritating, but in fairness, she doesn't know what I'm doing, so I can't be too harsh. Um, a brush has gone a well. The one that I was really enjoying using as well. There she goes again. Oh, it's here. Okay, let's just wipe it off. See, that's that's when the last time I used it, when I used the orange um, from the 35i Icy Fantasy palette. Right, so we'll use the Real Techniques brush first, the 305 the one that I always use and then we'll use that narrower brush to go in like directly into the crease here but before I do that I want to just put some white chocolate all over my lids so before I do that I just want to use the white chocolate shade all over my lids um, where's my mirror so I'm just going to use this Huda Beauty mirror Yeah, so after this video I have to film my project pan, so it's the 26th today and it needs to go up today as well, so I'll need to film that one first. Okay, right, let's go in with the Real Techniques 305, let's zoom in. And I'm just going in with this mint green shade, I suppose we'll call it number two because they don't actually have names on. I remember the last time I used this shade and um, it dyed my lids and this isn't even showing up on my lids. No, oh, it's not showing up at all. Right, I'm going to put it on silent because this is just irritating now. should really turn it off. Right, 
what I should do really because it's not showing up I mean you can see it as I'm building building it you can definitely see it what I should do is I recently got do you know that elf mint eyeshadow crayon um, I recently got that and that really helps with um, mint eyeshadow and it's matte as well I didn't show it in a haul but it's that one it's the elf mint melt no budge eyeshadow and it's in the shade mint for you I'll just show you it's, it's so so pigmented so that's what it looks like I got this and I got an essence highlighter the same day and I've not shown either one um, but because this is me just kind of using the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions I don't really want to go in with that um, crayon right that'll do because I'm gonna probably go in with a darker green anyway okay right where's it's there so now I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques base eyeshadow brush so this one was the I'm gonna go in with this dark green so it's like a forest green um, and it's number six so I'm just basically putting that just right underneath probably could do with an even smaller brush than this And this one is really pigmented. okay and then i'm gonna go in with this i think it's number nine um shade there i'm just gonna take that with a finger that looks really really similar to the one um from the cargo vintage that i used yesterday really similar in fact But I did like that look I created yesterday. Look at that, that is beautiful. It's like a yellow gold green. In a minute what I'll do is I'll spritz the brush and just see if we can get it a little bit more pigmented and I can still hear my phone vibrating it's a tricky one less because sometimes um, like for emergencies I need to keep it on right let's get a brush to um, spritz the brush with Actually, I'll um, put it on the brush first so I don't get a hard pan. Because sometimes, you know, I forget to do that. And then I wonder why my eyeshadow palette's got a hard pan. Then I have to scrape it all off. Right, and then over the top of that, I'm going to go in with a topper. Um, this is just a, a basic topper. You can see how much I've used of this because I was trying to get it really pigmented when I first used it. Um, so I'll show you. It is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to put that over the top because it's a similar shade. And it just gives it this really nice wet look.
that is absolutely stunning let's try and spritz the brush with that one as well I'll just wipe the other shade off when I've got a few more palettes by Huda Beauty I'm gonna do um, least favourite to favourite because I already know which one would be my least favourite from the ones that I've got already and I don't have that many I think maybe I've got four like this I've got three I've got three Huda Beauty obsessions one Huda Beauty Nude Light and then the Mercury Retrograde so I've only really got five of her palettes so maybe when I've got a few more I'll do kind of least favourite to favourite um, let's put some more white chocolate down on the brow bone That's that. Um, what I need now is this little angled brush, and I'm gonna go in with shade six, just that green. And now. I think I'm gonna have to put that shade number one as an inner corner, um, which might not work. Oh, actually, it does. I've dragged it down here a little bit. Right, and then I'm just going to kind of blend a little bit. Now you can't even see that mint grain I laid down earlier. Maybe we can blend out a little bit with that. Yeah, that's working. Okay, um, we're going to tie line with the Too Faced Love Eyeliner like normal. And then we're going to put the mascara on which is the Essence Eye Heart Extreme Crazy Volume. Well, Essence Eye Love Crazy Volume. I don't even know if they still do this eyeshadow palette I've not seen it anywhere I know they don't just I know they don't do the smoky one which is a shame because I would have liked that one now that I'm in to more cool toned eyeshadows I can get it on Depop but I don't know how long a person's had it for and I'm obviously I don't really want really old makeup so anyway this is the palette that we've just used um, we're gonna get a lipstick now right so pretty random pulled this Kiko um, color click lipstick out for me it's in the shade 04 it's a red one I don't really know if it's gonna go with this look but I remember it being quite moisturizing and my, my lips ever since I've had my injection I've took a beating I've had I've just put lip oil on but already the lip oil's gone off so let's just pop some of this on right so this is the finished look the red lips is probably a little bit too much I only put red on because it's quite golden here um, and it's not like full on green if I was wearing like these greens down here I would definitely not have worn it um, I don't think it looks awful I just think maybe a more nude 
lip would have looked a little bit better but I'm not taking it off now this palette I really really do love like I said I don't know if you can still buy it if you can and you like green eyeshadows then this is really really good to buy um, people are saying it's like the just my look palette it's a completely different color story yes the green yes they both have green eyeshadows in but they're completely different um, in my opinion so yeah I wouldn't say they're the same so it's not like if you've got just my look you don't need this because they're all different greens I do feel like for the price point I think it was £25 um, I feel like it's worth it um, I really do like this shade here this duo chrome and then this one and I like the way it looks when you place both of them together um, so yeah I just really really like the palette this is what the eye look looks like So guys, thank you so much for watching today. I really do appreciate your time and support on the channel. It means the absolute world to me. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button and notifications bell. Please like, it really does help out the channel. Share and comment and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.